Hi, um, the video that you're about to see is from me, Steve, um, Backdoor 3D, and was inspired by two of my very good friends on a discussion during uh, on Discord. Um, WP Guru, Javis Lewis, and CMC, Christina McKay. During the discussion, I offered to create this video about this new add-on for Blender, and it is, um, they gave me the inspiration to do it, so a big shout out to both of you, Jay and Christina, and uh, they are both on YouTube, and I'll leave a link in the description, so please go and check out their uh, YouTube channels, and um, subscribe, so awesome, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the video, cheers. Hi guys, and welcome. Um, my name is Stephen and I am Backdoor 3D. Today's video topic is Blender, or more importantly Blender for 2.79, I'll stop mumbling in a minute, and 2.8. Now I've been using Blender for a very long time, way back in the days when it was first offered as open source software and was free. I think it was 2.2 and then I progressed to 2.4 and onwards and upwards. But even through the, uh, sorry, the lifetime of Blender, even up to today with 2.78, you know, 2.79 and with the forthcoming 2.8. What has frustrated me the most with Blender is the lack of a materials management library or indeed an asset management library for all your assets, your objects, your scenes, um, your materials, whether they be cycles, Blender Render, or the new Eevee, and being able to access previous models that you've created or imported without having to append using the blend file to your current scene. And it was, it was very frustrating for a long time, but 18 months ago I came across an add-in or an add-on for Blender that completely changed the way I work and I couldn't be without it. And it's, uh, it's called Asset Management and it's by a fellow called Cedric Lepillier, I think that's correct. And you can find it on Gumroad, Blender Market, and a few, and even on his website that you can access through here. His uh, handle there is Pity Wazoo. And on the Blender Market, his, his page to the add on, Asset Management, which by the way, he has a version for 2.79 and 2.8. Eight, although the 2.8 version is still in development, it is fully functional and works. You will have to pay for it. It is not a free add-on. And um, in said on the asset management and even on Cedric's own site, it, he's got a whole raft raft of um, documentation on how to install it, how to set it up, and videos for each of the parts. Um, with your asset management here for, for objects, for your scenes, adding your scenes into the library, your materials, your HDRI maps, any existing library you may have, like Chocofor, which is shown here, and any of your other libraries that you may have. It's very powerful, and as I said, it changed my Blender life forever. Now, I'm not going to go through every all the installing and the setup. Cedric explains that far better than I can, but I'm just going to give you an overview of actually how it works. Now, my little Porsche scene here, which I'll be showing you in a minute, how to change materials on the fly. I'm just going to run through the main parts of asset management here with the assets tab itself. And you can set these categories up in here yourself by hitting the gear wheel, add, it will ask you for one, or if you don't want to, you can go away. Buildings, category, war zone, 
I added these from uh, a kit bash model that models that I purchased. War zone. Oh, sorry, I just did that, didn't I? Future slums also from a kit bash that I imported in as an FBX and then added each of the buildings. Construction, whole road system, also kit bash. Um, objects, 3D plants. I've only got one in here, but I'm just going through them. Backdrops, some backdrops I got off blend swap makes life a lot easier when you don't have to go through to the file append up here file append go off and find it can be long-winded doing that um, ground planes and by the way when you add them it also adds the material that's um, associated with them so you don't have to worry about adding the material again which is in a checkbox when you add it. Um, I don't think have anything in there. Um, what have I got? Streets. Uh, it's just one road I was creating. Um, shader accessories. I've got some shader balls for when I'm creating cycles materials or EV, cycle, EV materials. It just makes life a lot easier to just bring it in and not have to go and find it because you're all, it's all, in, all done in the interface, the user interface of Blender. And you can bring your own materials in. All you'd have to do is have an object in here selected, add the material in here, and then once it's applied to the object you have in here, it doesn't really matter what the object is, you can actually add it through this button here. And it will um, allow you to create, and it actually, um, renders it and sets it up like this and it will ask you whether you want to use the asset management icon or the blender icon which I do believe is Suzanne the little monkey um, but you can um, when you download purchase it and download it you can play around with that yourself now this is just a quick how to change the textures I'm just going to flick this into rendered mode and you'll see that um, my Porsche is at the moment that orangey colour. I can flick it back to blue. It's as simple as that. Or flick it to pink. And it can same for the leather here, the wheels, the, the metals, the, the glass. And I have that in here. I have automotive glass in here so that you get this nice glass texture on here. I've got some standard glass in here some of them are from the chocofor library some of these i've made myself or i've got some blend swap and it's very easy just to select the surface that you want and click on the material in here and it will add up it will apply it to the surface that you're um, you're working with that's pretty much how it works. Um, you can, I will just very quickly um, create a new file. And here I have um, asset management under tools. It's playing up a bit, my mouse is. So there's asset management. I've got my box selected. And I can go into paints and add that and it will automatically add that to your object and then you can go in and play around with it as you see feel see fit um, fabrics I'll just add a fabric to it so you can see it's very, very powerful once you've got it all set up and, and everything you need is in there. Um, just very quickly before I go, I'll just show you the, um, the assets in future slums and I'll bring in the tower. And here's the tower. Oops. 
you know, it's not in the right place. But unfortunately, bring it in from an FBX file, I didn't put it in the right place when I um, imported it. So it's come on. It does come in with all the textures when it eventually starts to kick in. No, I'm not going to dwell on on, on any more, but um, that's basically what it is. And you can bring your scenes in here if you have any. But as I said, you can create your own libraries from here. Add will ask you to create a name. Um, back up. You can create your own categories under the library. And it's very, very easy to use. So that's pretty much um, all I wanted to show you was how it worked. Um, please go and have a look at it. I know it looks like a lot of money, but it will pay you back, pay you back many, many times over the um, over the year, months or years that you use Blender. And it does work with 2.8, which I'm just going to show you here. It's in a different place because of Diff of um, the new Blender in user interface, but it is in here. It looks slightly different. So you've got your um, your assets there, your um, HDRI, your materials, and your scenes. And all you do is need to to click on it, and it uses exactly the same asset library that you created when you set it up in 2.79. If you don't have it in 2.79 or you only have 2.8 if you just started, or you don't use 2.79 anymore, you can set it up in here, and Cedric's documentation is awesome. So I'm going to leave that, leave it all with you now, and um, I hope that you got something out of it, because I wouldn't be without it anymore. So it's uh, goodbye for me, and keep on blendering.